It's a mythical quandary between the Griffins and the Phoenixes. Coming up next on Quiz Kids. It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. I am in a mythical quandary because of these two teams who are coming back to play in our quarterfinals over here. The Crystal Springs Uplands Griffins. And in this corner, the Bentley School Phoenixes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get started right away with our first three for all. I will ask you a toss-up question worth five points. Give me the right answer. You get a chance to score 10 or 25 points. Good luck to both teams. Here's your first toss-up. Its name is taken from an Aleut word for great land. What is the only U.S. state crossed by the Arctic Circle? Sam. Alaska. Right. Much of Alaska's west coast lies on what sea named for a Danish navigator who sailed for Russia? The Aleutians? It is the Bering Sea. Its legendary founders were twins suckled by a she-wolf, Yashan. Rome. The mother of Romulus and Rius, Rhea Silvia, was condemned to death when her pregnancy was discovered because she belonged to what college of priestesses that was not allowed to marry? Yeah. The Vestal Virgins. Right. Rome's fifth, sixth, and seventh kings belonged to what mysterious people of central Italy who painted their tombs and spoke a non-Latinate language? Etruscans. You got 25 points. The end of one of his music videos proclaims him to be the heartbreaker. Name this musician who sings, I guess he's an Xbox and I'm more Atari in Yes Sam. CeeLo Green. Sure. CeeLo is one of four celebrity coaches on which NBC singing competition show named for the emphasis it places on blind auditions? The Voice. CeeLo sang Crazy as part of Gnarls Barkley, a, a duo with which musician whose works include the Grey Album? Uh, DJ Danger Mouse. That is right for 25 points. <laughs> you know that, Sam. All right. <laughs> Moving charges feel a force proportional to their velocity if they travel through a region with this type of field. Yes, James. Electromagnetic. May I accept that? Yes. yes. Often made from a tight regular coil of wire, what electrical component stores energy in the form of a magnetic field? Inductor. Inductor? Right. Whose law states that the line integral of the magnetic field around a surface is proportional to the current through the surface? Ampere. That is 25 points again. <laughs> they march more than 60 miles to bring food from the open water to their breeding grounds at the bottom of the southern hemisphere. This is not my family. Jewel. Penguins. Right. Tux, the penguin, is the mascot of what Unix-like operating system? Uh, Linux. Right. One of the early works published by Penguin Books was which last novel by Dashiell Hammett in which Nick and Nora Charles investigate the title character's corpse? It was on TCM today, too. The uh, Romeo and Juliet. Thin <laughs> Man. Don't make fun of my Dashiell Hammett. The Thin Man. Lady Caroline Lamb described him as mad, bad, and dangerous to know. Name this British romantic poet of Yes, Sean. Lord Byron. Byron died at Missolonghi, fighting for the independence of which Balkan country? Greece? Yeah. Um, no. Albania? Albania? No, it was Greece. Ugh. Birds often swallow small stones to aid the grinding of food in what specialized muscular stomach? James. Gizzard? Yes, and they're tasty, too. Mm -hmm. Birds have translucent, nictitating membranes that protect what sensory structures? Uh, the eyes. In songbirds, the song is produced by what tracheal organ whose name comes from the Greek for pan pipes? Larynx. Larynx. Sure. Oh, trachea? No. Larynx. Go larynx. With whatever you larynx. It is the syrinx. The Canadian Constitution recognizes it, as a dis recognizes it as a distinct society. A 1995 referendum narrowly rejected Yes, Sean. Quebec. Quebec isn't the only province that sought to separate from Canada. The Red River Rebellion was a 19th century uprising in what modern-day province that contains Lake Winnipeg? Lake Winnipeg. Uh, Manitoba? Yeah. Manitoba. Right. Until 1949, which isolated maritime province was a self-governing dominion of the British Newfoundland Empire? Newfoundland and Labrador. 
That's it, you got 25 points. In this novel, the protagonist's wife, Mildred, is obsessed with their apartment's television walls. Name this novel about the fireman, Guy Montag, Jewel. A Fahrenheit 451. Which author of Something Wicked This Way Comes and the Martian Chronicles wrote Fahrenheit 451? Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury. In Fahrenheit 451, Guy Montag works for which fire chief, whom he eventually sets on fire? Larry. <laughs> Any real guesses? Oh, I, I, I can't remember. Larry. Chief Beatty. <laughs> Two of this planet's moons are named for characters in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. In 1781, William Herschel discovered what planet beyond the orbit of Saturn? Yes, Chase. Neptune. No. Named for Saturn's mythological father. We, uh, you. Yeah, uh, you, you. You can uh, steal. You don't, uh, you, can we collaborate? Yeah. Oh, Uranus. 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 Okay. Uranus. Yes. Nice. About 20 years later, the largest asteroid was discovered. Since it lay between Mars and Jupiter, it was named for what Ceres? sister of Jupiter? Ceres. Yes, sir. Uh, Ceres. Right. The moon Triton orbits what planet discovered in 1846 and named for a brother of Jupiter? Uh, Neptune. 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 That's right for 25 points, and we'll be right back after these messages. Since 1952, San Mateo Credit Union has been proud to help San Mateo County members and their families achieve their financial dreams. Our deep commitment to the community we serve includes offering a wide variety of financial education programs like financial literacy workshops for youth, adults, and seniors, seminars about raising money smart kids, identity theft prevention, and many more. For more information about San Mateo Credit Union, visit us at www.smcu.org. Need some video work done? We can do that. We do all that video stuff. We can even put your video on that internet thingy. At Peninsula TV, we do full-blown in-studio production. Talk shows, performances, speeches, anything. Remote multi-camera production, on location, at your event. And for the budget-minded, single camcorder production, in high definition. We'll take your video project from first idea to finished product. For more info, contact Peninsula TV. And now it's time to meet the Quiz Kids. Once again, here's Brad. Thank you. We have very distinguished guests in our audience. Each year they come to check out how I'm doing, if I'm pronouncing words right. Our staff of question writers, the members of Cub Scout Pack 27 from San Mateo. So how am I doing? Am I doing okay? Oh, they're asleep. All right. <laughs> Bentley Phoenix says, how are you guys? Natalia Ste uh, Natasha Stepanova. So you're about to go into mini term, which is a very cool thing at Bentley each spring, where we throw the old curriculum aside, and we uh, get to have our teachers teach us new things. And what are you going to be doing this mini term? Yeah, for two weeks, I'm going to do a mini term called Words and Images, which uh -huh. is a creative writing mini term based on photography. So we'll be writing short stories mostly about based on pictures. And as we've talked before, I'm sure this will help you in your hopeful career as an author. Yep. Good for you. Sean Lee, what will you be doing for mini term? I'm actually going to be going on a network exchange program, which is going to be, I'm going to stay with a host family in rural Massachusetts, and I'm going to learn about sugar tapping and boiling maple syrup. So it's going to be quite interesting and very, very cold. Which will help you with your future career plans as a lumberjack. Clearly. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Chase, you're going to be too busy to do anything or worry about this because you're stage managing the school play. Being a stage manager is a very important job, right? Indeed. Um, for a stage manager, I have to pretty much run everything that goes on backstage. And I'm helping out with a play called Miss Julie, a very dark tragedy. Good high school play by Strindberg. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, well, I wish you a very, very, very happy time with that sad, sad play. <laughs> so guys, let's give you a chance to earn some points. I have three categories here. If you pick a category for me, I'll have seven questions, each worth 10 points. Give me seven correct answers and you'll get a 30 point bonus for a total of 100. Today's categories are, and in the middle, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and The Simpsons. And in the middle. Sure. In the middle. And in the middle. And in the middle. Um, these uh, answers all contain the word and in the middle because they are famous pairings, okay? Hmm. Pairings of things that have and in the middle. Oh, all right. Okay? Just the word and, not in the middle. And is in the middle. Yeah, all right. Fair not enough. in. <laughs> In's not and the middle. And's in the middle. Fair enough. <laughs> country. The country with the capital of Port of Spain. 
Trinidad. Port of Spain is the capital of this country. Yep, the far? Uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Correct. The first two battles of the American Revolution. Lexington and Concord. Lexington and Concord. Correct. This is a Shakespeare play with a snake-assisted suicide. Oh, Antony and Cleopatra? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Antony and Cleopatra. Right. The Faulkner novel about the Compson family. Mm, I defer to you. No. No. Nothing. Doesn't know. It's The Sound and the Fury. Sound and the Fury. New York-based printers and lithographers from 1834 to 1907. Courier and Ivies? Courier and Ivies. Correct. Uh, it's Courier and Ives. That's right. The Cambridge men who discovered the structure of DNA. Watson and Crick. Watson and Crick. Watson and Crick. Correct. Um, Amy Poehler's sitcom set in Pawnee, Indiana. Mm. Smith and Jones. Well, you shouldn't be sitting around watching TV anyway. It's Parks and Recreation. You scored 50 points. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> well, that's very cool. Let's say hello to the team from Crystal Springs, James Evans. You are taking part in your very first musical. That's right. It's called I the I'm a lover of musicals. How exciting for you. What is Crystal Springs Uplands doing? It's called The Drowsy Chaperone. It's quite an edgy, racy comedy, so unlike Edgy, racy school. comedy yeah. set in the 1920s, That's yes. Right. And uh, what are you playing? I'm playing the role of the superintendent. Ah, it sounds so important. Indeed, it's it? an extremely important role. And we're going to leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Packard. Uh, we might as well just break it to everyone. We're going to talk about Downton Abbey. If that means we stop playing the game, we stop playing the game because you and I are fans. So tell me what you want to tell me about Downton Abbey and we'll continue the conversation while our floor director goes like this. Go. Well, you know, I went about watching the two seasons in a sort of holistic way. I went straight at it uh, and watched them pretty recently. And I'm happy I did that. In retrospect, I don't know if I would have been able to survive a week-long break between the Edwardian melodrama. Sam, this is the problem. You are making it all about yourself. Uh, you know, it's a personal experience with the uh, yeah. you know, show. Yeah. And what about Lady and... Violet? Let's get to that. All right, moving on. <laughs> Jewel Veltz. Jewel, you are the editor of a school opinion magazine. Yes. Uh, what is the magazine called? It's Vantage Magazine. And you guys actually provide the opportunity for your, your writers and the students to express opinions yeah. about. Well, our writers are students, so we covered the student viewpoint on anything from why don't we give out A pluses at Crystal to what do we think of the Occupy Wall Street movement, so it's a good issue. Exciting, exciting, good for you. Let's give you guys a chance to score some points. Mr. and Mrs. Smith and The Simpsons are our two remaining categories. Which one do you want? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. These are about people or places named Smith. She played Mrs. Smith in the movie and stole Brad Pitt from Janice, Jennifer Aniston. Angelina Jolie? Yes. Smith College, one of the seven sisters, is in this New England state. Massachusetts? Massachusetts? Correct. Headquartered in Massachusetts, a state favorable to gun control laws, is the largest manufacturer of guns in the U.S. Smith & Wesson? Right. The famous John Smith in 1609 saved this colony from collapse. Jamestown? Right. Another John Smith, the brains behind the A-Team, goes by this nickname from an ancient Carthaginian military genius. Hannibal. Right. This multi-talented alien sometimes travels on Earth under the name John Smith and frequently saves mankind from nasty extraterrestrial plots. Superman. Um, Men in Black. No, it's Doctor Who. <laughs> and finally, John Francis Smith was a park ranger known for going after this cartoon Bruin. Um, Yogi Bear. That is right for 60 points. Congratulations. We will be right back with more Quiz Kids. And now we're back with the second half of Quiz Kids. Take it away, Brad. Welcome back. Let's give a hand to the coaches for both teams. First, from Crystal Springs Upland, Ms. Kelly Sortino. And in a shocking, shocking expose, which you could only find happening on Quiz Kids, we have learned that the Bentley coach is actually its captain, Mr. Sean Lee. <laughs> this scandal will be investigated, Sean. <laughs> Meanwhile, we will go on with our next three for all, where the point values are doubled to 10, 25, and 50 points. It is 170 for Crystal Springs, 105 for Bentley. Good luck to both teams. Here's the first toss-up. 
Bees play a surprisingly important role in American agriculture. This is because they transfer what powdery substance containing, uh, Sean? Pollen. Pollen lands on what structures within the stamen, each one with a stigma at its tip? Pistol. 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 Right. Each pistol consists of one or more of what structures that are collectively called the genesium? Should I defer? No, no answer. All right. Carpels. Carpets. Miller's cornfield saw fierce fighting during this bloodiest one-day battle in American, yes, Chase. Antietam. Uh, Antietam was the only time this general defeated Lee. Lincoln sacked him, so he ran for president against Lincoln in 1864 as a Democrat. Defer? George McClellan. Right. Neither McClellan nor Grant defeated Lee at Gettysburg. That distinction belonged to what general, the last commander of the Army of the Potomac? Uh, Me defer? Meade. Yes, that's 50 points. In chapter 10, Jim Hawkins hides in an apple barrel and overhears talk of a mutiny planned aboard the Hispaniola by Long John Silver. Yes, Sam. Treasure Island? <coughs> yes. Gregor Samsa dies from an infection caused by an apple that lodges in his carapace at the end of what Franz Kafka work? The Metamorphosis. Nancy Clutter teaches Jolene Katz to bake apple pies on the morning of Clutter's murder in what nonfiction novel by Truman Capote? Um, in Cold Blood. Correct, for 50 okay. points. <laughs> the cities of Christchurch and Auckland are located in what nation? Yes, James. New Zealand. The original Zealand is today part of what European nation whose sailor Abel Tasman led the first European crew to spot New Zealand? Holland or the Netherlands? Yes. What Polynesian people fought against British colonization of New Zealand with considerable success? The Maori. For 50 points, you're right. <laughs> Defending champion Rafael Nadal lost this tournament's final match in July 2011. Sean? U.S. Open? Say again? U.S. Open? No. Uh. Uh, name this Grand Slam tennis tournament played on grass at London's All England tennis, uh, Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. Wimbledon. Right. Nadal was defeated by what Serbian star whose 43 match winning streak was snapped at the French Open? Djokovic. In the semifinals, Djokovic uh, defeated which Frenchman whom he had also defeated in the finals of the 2008 Australian Open? Songa. You got 50 points. And a love of tennis. <laughs> in October 2010, Haiti was hit by its first outbreak of a particular infectious disease. Yes, Sam. Cholera. Suspicion quickly fell on peacekeepers from what international organization who arrived in Haiti just before the outbreak began? The UN. The UN peacekeepers were from what Asian nation where cholera is endemic? China, Thailand, Vietnam. China, Thailand. Same? Uh, China. No, Nepal. No Leopold V of Austria imprisoned this man who fought the Battle of Arsuf against Saladin. French was the native language of Yes, Sam. Uh, Richard the Lionheart. Right. Although Richard spoke the French of Aquitaine, William spoke what other dialect for the French region of his birth? Occitanian. Occitanian? No, Occitanian. Norman. This Persian Gulf nation was once known as the Trucial States. Name this nation a group of seven entities that, yes, Sean. UAE. That's correct. Which emirate is the site of the Burj Khalifa skyscraper? Dubai. Dubai. Right. The UAE separates the Musandam Peninsula from the rest of which nation whose capital is Muscat? Qatar? Oman. Oman? Oman. That is right for 50 points. His system starts with physiological requirements like thirst and ends with self-actualization. Name this American psychologist who developed the hierarchy of needs. That is Abraham Maslow, and it's the end of the round, 355 to 230. We'll be back with our final round of the game in just a moment. Tournament champions will win an all-expenses-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. It's time for the final countdown round. Uh, the questions are worth 30 points. I will put three minutes on the clock, and the clock will start when I begin reading the first question. Good luck to both teams. Here we go. 
Considered the most progressive city in its nation, it was previously called Leningrad. What city plant Sam? St. Petersburg. Right. Tears of wine are caused by alcohol having a lower value than water for what quantity? Reduced by surfactants that lets water striders walk on water. James. Surface tension? Correct. She was named by Mademoiselle Magazine at age 88, the youngest woman of the year, uh, the young woman of the year. What renowned folk artist was cited as an inspiration for housewives, widows, and retirees? Grandma Moses. Name the Russian scientist famous for developing classical conditioning. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. After kidnapping Demeter's daughter and letting, getting her to eat pomegranates, yes, Sam. Hades. Right. It needs the CCR5 protein expressed by CD4 positive T cells to enter cells and begin reproducing. That is, describes, yes, Sean. HIV. Correct. This Greek letter used for the Laplace operator and Kronecker function can represent a finite change. It can refer to a river, yes, James. Delta. Right. This mathematical term comes from a mistranslation of a Sanskrit word referring to half of the length of a chord of the unit circle. What trigonometric function results from dividing the length, Sam? Sine. Right. In July 2011, this former chief of staff to Bill Clinton, then serving as director of the CIA, replaced Robert Gates as secretary of defense. Sean. Panetta. Right. He used a theme from his ballet, The Creatures of Prometheus, in his third symphony. Name this composer whose ninth symphony is one of the most famous works of classical music. Schul. Beethoven. Right. In the so-called Voseo dialects, Vos is used instead of the usual informal second-person pronoun to in what? Yes, Sean. Ooh. Nah. To. No. Mm. Uh, in what Romance language spoken on the Iberian Peninsula and in Paraguay, Bolivia, and Uruguay? Spanish. Spanish. Right. <laughs> because he became president when his predecessor died, he was dubbed his accidency. Who succeeded William Henry Harrison as president in 1841? Sam. Uh, Tyler. Right. What statement given if P then Q is the logically equivalent statement if not Q then not P, or in other words, the converse jewel? De Morgan's Law? No. The converse of the inverse. You can steal. Hmm. The contrapositive. The Moravo River forms the western border of what nation that has its capital on the Danube at Bratislava and was yes, Sam. Slovakia. Right. It takes place after the Brood War and also includes Jim Rayner as the leader of the Terrans. Yes, Sam. Uh, Starcraft II, Wings of Liberty. <laughs> yes, how sad. A transition metal whose ores include gertite, limonite, hematite, and magnetite. What element has atomic Sean? Iron. Right. In medieval times, its seven states made up the Heptarchy. Today, it is the biggest component of Great Britain. What? Sean. That's right. What phenomenon which occurs differently? That's the end of the game. 350, 655. Crystal Springs moves on. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Promotional consideration furnished by the Burlingame Scottish Rite, the Knights Templar, Model Compilers, the Bay Area Academic League. Some questions of Quiz Kids are provided by National Academic Quiz Tournaments.